everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Leo. How are you guys? Hope you're well. Just want to remind people, don't put links in your comments. Watch your words. And uh, when you're typing out a message and you don't leave a space between two words, sometimes it turns blue, even though it's not an actual hashtag. Uh, that will often get your uh, message deleted. So I'm trying to get you to avoid having your comments deleted. So watch your words, no links, no hashtags, and uh, watch the spacing too. Because <laughs> I notice there's a bunch of deleted, uh, really positive uh, communications that the words turned into little uh, links or hashtags or whatever, why it does that, I don't know. But I've noticed that with quite a few. So heads up. All right, Leo, what does Leo need to know? Oh, there we go, as soon as I said it. So we have, yeah. So I see someone trying to figure out what someone's intentions are. I see professional assistance. Ooh, somebody could be hiring someone. I do see someone focusing. I see this person looking to see what someone's focused on. So it has to do with someone's intentions. Someone's wearing a mask. So let's see what their intentions. I see seven people, okay? So ooh, let's see what this is all about. Yeah, so, well, somebody definitely. Yeah. So we have someone with fragmented energy. Someone's kind of all over the place. So it's somebody trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together. So it has to do with professional assistance. Somebody may be asking for assistance. Okay. Or professional help could be anything. Because it has to do with someone's intentions or hiding behind a mask. Someone's hiding their true self. So someone's trying to figure something out here. I feel it's putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Someone's energy is kind of all over the place. <laughs> yeah, so it's about piecing things together here. Let's see what's going on. Leo, there we go. So yeah, there's been some heartache. So I see some heartache, maybe a third party situation. Someone's trying to find out what someone's intentions are. Yeah, this could be anything, but there's the opportunity, a fresh new start. So, yeah, someone's trying to figure out here. There's been heartache, so it, maybe someone's trying to figure out if there's a third-party situation before they offer a cup, or it's the energy of someone who's like, had some heartache and they're ready for a fresh new start. So I do see it. It does look like a healing. I see six energy moving past this. You know, someone's piecing the, putting the puzzle together, and you can see there's a, someone's, Someone's heart, there's a piece missing, okay? Yeah, so there we have. So we have a person who's pulling back, kind of looking at things different. Something feels kind of off, okay? Something's feeling a little off here, you see? But it has to do with this opportunity. Now, this is energy where this could be a person who's just different than usual type or someone's trying something different, but it's an energy of patience and healing, okay? Oh, there's an energy of love. So someone's trying to fit. I feel it's someone here who's <laughs> trying to figure out how someone feels, <laughs> honestly. It really, it's what it really looks like. But there has been some heartache or maybe the fear of a third party. Something feels off, you know. But I got to tell you, this is often just an energy where it feels that way. So it's saying to just be patient. I see love here, making a choice in love. Someone's hiding their intentions, their feelings here. You know, it could be a, someone afraid of being hurt. Yeah, so someone's dragging their feet a little, taking their time, slow and steady, wins the race. It's a person who feels a little apprehensive, but they want this to be successful, so it has to do with positive. You see, this is someone looking for the piece of the puzzle. They're looking for something here, and it could be, like I say, it has it as a six. The energy is moving past this energy. We could have somebody who's, there's been some heartache, someone's moving past that energy, ready for a fresh new start, so I do feel it has to do with just being patient. Someone here just needs to be patient here. Okay, let something heal. If you feel something is off, it could be just trying something different or someone who's different than your usual type. See, it has to do with committing, a fresh new start. It's also someone who wants to be financially stable. It's a person who's focused more on their money. So that could be something that feels a little off, someone different. Yeah. It's a person who's trying to figure out what someone's focused on. So you can see this person looking at the, you know, there's a woman here who's looking at this bright light. See, it's about clarity. See, what are they focused on? You see this person watching? They feel someone's hiding their true feelings or hiding something. Okay. It could be the other way around. Just take it how it resonates. 
There we go, Leo. Yeah, so you can see this energy of communication. So somebody here is in a hurry. See, it's energy being patient. Someone is in more of a hurry than the other person. This is someone who's focused on their money. They want. It's a person who wants to be financially successful before they get married. Because there is love. There's some kind of choice, though. Yeah, someone's path in love here. And I can see the eight of wands. Someone's been there, done that. See, this is something feels a little off. But what I feel, it's someone feeling a little overwhelmed. Someone's feeling overwhelmed. Their energy's all over. You know, they're trying to piece the puzzles together. Someone trusting their intuition. See, it's energy of someone who already knows everything they need to know. But it's a person who I feel is going within. Yeah. And we have, oh yeah, we have the Empress. Now, this could be a single parent, mother with children. But it's also energy of someone reminiscing. We have someone here who's longing for love. Someone's longing for love. Something's missing. See? But I feel someone here, their intentions. Someone's hiding behind a mask or hiding their true intentions. And I see a three, possibly a third party. So you could have someone here who's you don't see very often. They're moving very slow. Could be someone keeping a secret. But I feel someone here is overwhelmed. I see busy times ahead. I see multiple opportunities. So it looks like someone has a couple of opportunities or you feel something is off that they do. It could be something in a communication. It could be someone here, you know, reminiscing, looking at a past communication or some communication. It's an energy of someone trusting their intuition, their inner knowing. Someone already knows. Someone already knows everything they need to know. You have the Empress. Now, the Empress is balanced. It's a beautiful healing energy. This is someone very balanced, somebody who's open, somebody here open to love. Well, someone's missing somebody here or reminiscing. It could be someone longing for love, longing for children. It could be yourself. Maybe you feel like something is missing in your life. But if you have a person where you feel something isn't right, okay, take your time. Don't rush into anything. I'm going to use charms today, Leo, for clarifiers. What is this Three of Swords about? Yeah, something to do with commitment. Some kind of communication. An opportunity for a fresh new start. Now, it could be an invitation. Someone's cup runneth over. I mean, it's right there, this opportunity. Yeah, this is energy, this is the key to someone's heart. There's a heart here. Someone's cup runneth over with love, but why are they hiding behind a mask? Some kind of transformation. The butterfly. So something is blossoming here. Someone here is afraid of something. Okay, Or there's been heartache, or it's just a fear. Maybe a fear of commitment. There's the ring. <laughs> you got someone who's dragging their feet. It looks like we have someone who's hiding behind a mask. Their intentions. I feel this is someone who actually, you know, they're longing for love. They want this, but the fear of commitment. Why? Let's have a look at this. Um, it's a very common energy nowadays. Let's have a look at temperance. Someone tempering their mas uh, passions, tempering their emotions, being patient. The letter S, there's two hearts. See, we have two hearts right there. These here is looking to see what someone's focused on or what their intentions are. The letter L. What is this? The people, the seven. Someone's trying to figure something out. Yeah. It has to do with whether something is long term, the infinity sign. It has to do with being strong, being confident. It's manifesting. Someone's trying to manifest something here. The letter K. There's the heart. So we've got love. Yeah, there's the fish. Uh, so somebody here could be making up excuses. Yeah, you got a person who has a fear of commitment. So it looks as though you're feeling something is off. But I do feel this is someone who's a little different. They take their time. This is someone who moves a little slow. Okay, that's that slow moving energy with someone who's feeling apprehensive about marriage or commitment. Now, this is often positive, a reason to celebrate. Okay. Somebody's focused on their house, their home, their financial foundation. This is a person who feels they have a right to be financially stable before they commit. So if they're dragging their feet, that's why. Yeah, there's a fear of commitment. And then we have the letter F. 
And there we have the balloon. So somebody's ego getting in the way, their pride. Someone's pride here. See the ego, the hot air balloon. So things are kind of up in the air. See, they're kind of all over the place. There's the transformation, the butterfly. So the letter F may mean something. Maybe it's friends first. We'll see. Somebody here, maybe friends with benefits. If you feel something is off, it probably is. But this is an energy I feel with the Empress of, you know, just kind of being open. I see this beautiful healing. I see the birth of something new. So this is someone longing for love. There's something missing. Now, it could be someone longing to have children, you know. I see the been there, done that. But this is an energy of multiple opportunities coming in, things speeding up. Somebody here is more in a hurry than the other person because I feel someone's either longing for love or children. They feel like their their biological clock could be ticking. So we have the letter I and there's the shoe. So the shoe is that step forward, taking the step forward. I feel like you got a person who's going to offer you this cup because there's some kind of transformation to do with how they feel, okay? That fear of commitment, I can see it, the ring. <laughs> the message, it has to do with the communication. There we have the letter Q, so it could have to do with timing. I often see that as timing, see? Time being slow, right on time, Q. So there it is, the star. So there's someone here. You, I, I feel like things are going to start clearing up. So I see some kind of uh, reason to celebrate. It looks like you're going to get an invitation. Someone could just invite you to the home, a party, a celebration. I feel it's a person making a choice in love, but there's the ego getting in the way, the hot air balloon. Things are a little up in the air. Oof, we got some passion here. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got a person who's just slow. They want to be financially successful before they commit. But there's the start of something right there. Things are becoming clear. Things are starting to clear up. Yeah, this has to do with someone revealing their intentions. There we have it. See, there's the energy of clarity. See, someone seeing the truth. Someone opening their eyes. See, a Gemini. Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Taurus, Libra the Taurus energy, or with the Empress energy, pardon me. Here, this is someone in a, someone speeding up here now. See, this is somebody here speeding up a little bit. We have one person who's in a bit more of a hurry to commit because their biological clock could be ticking or they're missing something. This is like someone's kind of all over the place. See, it's, it's just a fragmented energy. But the six is, this is an energy of moving past that. So you know, there's some kind of movement here. We have the cup. There it is. Someone's intentions. It's offering the cup. I feel like you want to know what someone's up to. It's something feels off. <laughs> or vice versa. There we have the W. The letter D. Yeah, there's the bow. So there's some kind of gift, some kind of opportunity. Some kind of celebration. It could be an invitation to a party, a celebration, someone's home. But there, it's, it's a person who's focused on taking their time. See, feeling a little apprehensive about commitment. I see a lot of wisdom here. Somebody very wise. They're looking for clarity. And I do see they're getting some kind of clarity. You see? Someone's hiding their intentions, their feelings here. But is what are their intentions are. So that's what it is. The Empress wants to know what someone's intentions are. Because I feel like you're not going to, you know, you may have other opportunities here. You may have other opportunities in love. You don't want to waste time. So there's the letter G. There's the infinity sign. The manifesting communication coming in fast, likely out of the blue. So you may, like I say, is this someone... You, I think you already know everything you need to know. I think this person already knows what they need to know as well. It's in the middle. It has to do with someone going within. Into me, I see. The letter Y. See, someone wants to know why. You see? This is someone who's been there, done that. They've likely been married before. There was some heartache. Um, so they do have a bit of a fear of commitment. But the energy is why. Somebody wants to know why. So there's some questions here. See, someone already knows why. I feel like you already know, okay? You already know. You already know the answers you're seeking. So here we have made with love, something made with love, maybe a gift, okay? 
Somebody may have given someone a gift. Maybe somebody gave you a gift or you gave them a gift. It's an energy of showing someone you're open. You see, this is the, the, the birth of something new, the Empress. But I do feel someone's biological clock is ticking. Someone's missing a piece of their heart. But it's that fragmented energy where someone's kind of all over the place, I feel. Yeah, it's all good. You're going to move past it. There's the energy of slow. See, someone already knows. Someone's slower. They're moving kind of slow, but they are focused on their financial abundance. The person who deserves, they feel that they deserve to be financially stable before they commit. So it's a person focused on their money. Okay. But I feel the other, you already know why I feel. They have a fear of commitment. There it is, two lovebirds sitting on a swing. Yeah, I feel like you both know there's definitely a connection. There's some kind of little connection here. See, this is the ring. It's a circle. Little. I always see it as two little lovebirds sitting on a swing. Two hearts. You both already know. Yeah, there's the star. Releasing things that no longer serves. You know, the empress knows the em empress knows their worth and value. So you may be thinking it's time to kind of move on. Been there, done that. You see? You know, that's where I feel. You may have other opportunities, but I feel someone else has feel been there, done that. See? Yeah. But opportunities coming in, someone's feeling a little overwhelmed too. That's why I feel someone starts to feel a little overwhelmed. You know, there's a lot of feelings, emotions here. But if someone's hiding behind a mask or keeping a secret, see, they're moving very slow. I feel they're focused on their money too. And there we have the cycle ending. See, this is energy of someone here wanting things to go in their favor. See, the Empress. See, is someone seeing you in a very favorable light? I feel like you already know these things. They've been There's been some heartache. Now, it could be a third party where somebody is hiding behind a mask, keeping a secret. Maybe they have someone else. Okay. But I feel it has to do with someone putting their best foot forward, taking the necessary steps. Okay. Is offering this... Um, Something to do with commitment or building that foundation, a fresh new start, an opportunity. It looks like some kind of an invitation. We'll see here. Tell me about the, somebody missing someone here. See, someone's missing somebody. Or just the biological clock is ticking, the timing. Someone's taking forever. Six of cups. There we have music. So some kind of gift of music. Maybe you shared music and someone's reminiscing and missing you while they listen to music. Maybe you gave them a gift or they gave you a gift. It's sentimental. Someone's being very sentimental. It's an energy of someone looking at that energy. Ah, yeah. This is someone who already knows. They know. They know. It's a piece of the puzzle missing. Someone's heart, someone's missing someone. Oh, this is really kind of sad, but like I say, we got a person who's starting to hurry up. They know they need to hurry up. Tell me more about behind the mask, the letter T. There's the dragonfly, some kind of good omen, some kind of gift, see? This is the bow, the gift. There's been a gift. It looks like a gift of music. Or someone's listening to music, reminiscing about someone. There's this, the glasses, taking off the rose-colored glasses, someone's seeing someone. Somebody is seeing someone here, okay? Or seeing somebody for the first time. We'll see. This is energy, it is the energy of just seeing, see? Somebody here is definitely doing some thinking, but it's about seeing clearly. It's an energy of wisdom. I feel like you already know everything you need to know, or they already know everything they need to know about you, Okay? So very interesting. They see an empress. Yeah, this is someone that I feel is just kind of all over. I got to be honest, that's my first impression was they're just kind of all over the place. Okay. And there's the letter E. There's the letter P. There's the tower, the epiphany, the tower coming down, the aha moment. Someone's missing someone. They're missing a piece of the puzzle. Now, this could be a heart chakra situation where there's a need to heal. The Empress is always open for healing, but the Empress is balanced. Now, this is where I feel like you're trusting your own in intuition, your inner knowing. But I think you already know how this person feels about you. Okay? But I feel they're just apprehensive about committing. But I do see an opportunity. See, it's a piece of the heart. There's a key. You hold the key to someone's heart or vice versa. 
There's the star releasing things that no longer serve someone's worth. This is someone's hopes and dreams. Okay, somebody's hopes and dreams here. There's the pause. See, this is where something starts to feel off, very much connected to temperance. Taking a pause, finding the inner balance. See? And there we have two stars, both white. Yeah, tell me about this Three of Swords. Let's have a look at what that is. Yeah, it's something to do again, communication between two people, some kind of communication. The fear of communicating, fear of being hurt. I feel absolutely fear of commitment. Yeah, there's the world. <laughs> or the letter W, the letter O, B, and another O. So that tells me with the circle, circling back around. I actually feel this is a person who's going to make a choice. Somebody's making a choice in love here. I feel they've been moving slow. It could be someone you haven't heard from, but there's the clarity of the sun, the start of something new. This person's going to start something, okay? Maybe this person, like I say, maybe they are worried you're going to start something. They're in a hurry. I can see them moving a little faster here. Making sure you haven't started something new. I feel like you're open to new too because you're lonely, possibly longing for love or your biological talk, clock is ticking. Tell me more about the house, the home, the family, the financial foundation with the four of wands. There's the, an O. Yeah, someone here is definitely thinking happy thoughts. I know this one. There it is. <laughs> I know it from the back. Yeah, see, this is somebody feeling very happy. So I feel there's some happiness. If this is a person you spent time with, one thing that's very clear, this is somebody who, um, something is going to make you happy here. I can see it. But this is someone reminiscing. See, any time you spent with this person, they were happy. So this is someone trying to think happy thoughts. They're in a hurry. So someone moving a little faster here. Yeah, they've been hiding behind a mask, hiding their true self, their feelings, their love. So there's a transformation. They're going to let go of the ego. See, it's a person here planning and preparing for success. They want this to be successful. So their ego got in the way. Maybe they're not as successful as you, so their ego's getting in the way. Often that's what I see with the Empress. Maybe you, you have more to offer. The Empress, the Empress has a lot of abundance. You have a lot to offer. And it doesn't always have to be money, you see. But someone's missing you. There is a person longing for love, but they hide behind a mask. There it is, two people, see, two people who are actually a very good fit, yin and yang, energy, you see, two people who are very different, yet very much the same. That's the thing, you see, this is someone looking back, two people who are different, but yet the same, you balance each other out, but I'll tell you, the fear of, of commitment, fear of being hurt, maybe this is somebody who hurt you, I don't know. But uh, whatever's happened, the cycle's ending. Things are about to go in your favor. This is someone who sees you in a favorable light. They have, they, you know, they're keeping those memories to themselves. They think happy thoughts of time they spent with you. But I do feel like you are going to get some kind of invitation. There's the letter G. Tell me more about the Empress. So this is someone who sees you very clearly. They already know everything they need to know. There's the carrot. This is somebody going to reach out. <laughs> so I do see a temptation. Yeah, and there the letter J, there it is, a little Taurus energy, being an open book, being open. So this has to do with two people being on the same page, habits, lifestyle, the way you conduct yourself. This is a person who absolutely um, sees you as that empress, everything they could ever want, the star. But you see, it has to be mutual. It has to do with mutual. I feel like you both want this. I feel like this is two people who want this. You see, I, I feel they want it because they want it to be successful, but they have to start it. See, they're looking. This is someone also knows they need to hurry up because you're open to new. So there, I feel this is a very simple reading. There's the letter D. There's the letter T. A um, lot more letters. D again, I and S. So you can take these and make words. They could be initials. They could be anything. So Take your time with these. Don't jump to conclusions, but you have someone moving slow. I feel like you already know. So someone focused on their money. Okay, they take their time. They're a little slower. But I see made with love, a little heart made with love. Something was made with love. I see a carrot. Maybe you made them a carrot cake. 
<laughs> the Empress has abundance. The Empress is balanced, loving, nurturing, often a very good cook, very, yeah, this is someone who has a lot to offer. But the carrot's interesting. So why is that carrot here? Yeah, it has to do with peace. Peace of heart, peace of mind, piece of cake. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. The peace symbol inside of a heart is what that is. But I see this this Taurus energy, uh, the temperance. I feel like you're an open book. You're open. Okay, but it has to do with being on the same page. Lifestyle habits, the way you conduct yourself. Something's about to make you very happy here. Could be someone who's apprehensive whether they can make you happy too. Like, you know, but is it, this is just a person they wanted to be successful. They're planning and preparing. So they're preparing something to make this offer. This is what you want, your hopes and dreams. But I feel like you both want the same thing. See, you both want love. I see a bond and a connection. You're different than each other, but yet very much the same. Yin and Yang confirms it. That's what that yin and yang symbol is, is balance between two. Two people very much the same, but just enough different to create difference to create balance. So, yeah, I, I love this energy because I feel like what's happening is this is someone who's, you know, I feel like you already know everything you need to know. This could go in your favor. Just uh, it's a person who just moves slow. So we all know the Empress can be very patient. This music, reminiscing, listening to music, reminiscing, longing and missing for someone. It's like a piece is missing. But the tower is the epiphany where the tower comes down. That realization. It has to do with commitment. There it is, seeing. There's the wisdom, see? The inner wisdom, the inner knowledge. You know, you already know the answers you're seeking. Okay? They already know too. So it's them. See, this is yourself making a choice. Taking that step, but I feel it has to do with them. Taking things the next step. So it's about building the foundation first. So that's what I feel. I feel there was the foundation wasn't built. It was built on shaky ground because somebody had either been hurt. Maybe they weren't over something. Okay. Or it's just that fear of committing. Yes. You know each other. Okay. You know each other. I feel like you probably very well. Beautiful, beautiful energy. You just have, I feel they see you this way, you know, someone who's on the same page lifestyle, but the way you conduct yourself, they see you have a lot of abundance. You see, you have a lot to offer. But some of you, again, your biological clock is ticking. You're longing for love. You're longing for marriage and commitment. You see, you have so much abundance here. But somebody is seeing. Could be someone looking to see if you're seeing anyone else too before they start something because that sun is there where things start to become very clear tell me more about this knight of pentacles so ah there it is the abundance the money see the money this is like the king of pentacles energy it's a little uh, bunch of grapes the purple grapes as you see in the you know, taurus the, is the king of pentacles or yeah the king of pentacles is the one that has the the grapes so that's interesting this is somebody probably going to level up here but I feel someone's pride and ego's getting in the way. But it's also an energy of someone who's been hurt before. They've had a relationship that wasn't successful. Okay? But I think their pride's getting in the way. You may maybe they feel they don't have enough to offer, but they're hurt. They're coming in. It's gonna make you happy. Yeah, they're, I feel this is somebody here, sunny ways. They're thinking positive. So I see this in a positive frame of mind here. So I love that energy because the tower is coming down. So this is the energy of that fragmented energy. It's energy of moving past this energy. I'll grab a couple cards on that. I'll have to move the tower over. Tell me about this fragmented energy. What's it all about? The sun. Things are going to become clear. It's about starting something new. One's longing. Now, I don't know if you're at a distance from this person or what the issue, but I see things becoming clear. As I say, things are clearing up. The start of something, you're open to new. See, this is a person who knows they need to hurry up. They're in a hurry now. See, they're moving, coming in very quickly. You may have other opportunities. It looks like some of you do have other opportunities. Now, it could be love, could be other things as well. You know, the Empress is open to all kinds of things. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful, beautiful energy. 
I feel, yep, there they are hiding behind a mask. See, someone's being cautious, being careful what they wish for, playing it safe. You see? So it's telling you to play it safe. Be careful. I do see the carrot. Sometimes it's somebody who tempts you. Sometimes this is a temptation. Someone's feeling tempted. Okay? It could be you doing that too. Tempting this person by kind of, like I say, kind of holding back a little bit. The Empress often is mysterious, see, keeping things to yourself, being kind of mysterious, because it's like you know. You know they're moving slow. I see it. But also, it could be even yourself, just kind of slowing down. But they're hurrying. This is someone moving. Oh, so there it is. Teamwork, cooperation, compromise, compatibility, the things you have in common. See, you're both playing it safe. See, two people being a little cautious. But I feel it has to do with, see, this is somebody who never really got what they wanted. They never really got what they wanted. There's been heartache. And it likely has to do with that fear of commitment. And they've likely been in a committed relationship before and never really got what they wanted. But see, this is where they know. This has to do with acknowledging. They're acknowledging and seeing something. The things you have in common. Okay, The strength, I feel, too, between the two of you. Two people who build each other up. And go down this path. So if you feel something is off. Some of you definitely I can see something is off. Okay. Someone's hiding behind a mask. Hiding their true self. See again the mask is here. Someone who keeps all their feelings to themselves. They're playing it safe. I got to tell you. It looks like the Empress Energy is playing it safe. Yeah. You're going to get something you want here though. But this is someone who's definitely acknowledging the need to cooperate and compromise and go down this path to start this. So you've got either got something new. Uh, I do feel it's telling you, like I say, if you've got someone who keeps dragging their feet, you may be deciding it's time to be open to something new. But I see two people both wanting something, and I do see two people needing to release that fear, okay? Releasing the heartache, okay? It's two people loving themselves first, looking out for themselves as well. But it's uh, the star to me is two people in this reading, you know, two people both want this opportunity, a fresh new start. So I feel it's saying to be patient. See, it has to do with takes two people to build. See, building each other up, working together and acknowledging each other too. <laughs> acknowledging yeah, I, I feel like you got things in common. It's like two people who complement each other. What you're not good at, they're at, things like that. There's no need for this person to feel that um, their pride getting in the way if they aren't ready, you see, if they feel they don't have enough money because the sun is shining. Things are becoming clear. I do see abundance coming in. I do see the abundance. They're focused on money. They, somebody who wants to be a good provider before they start something, see, so it's somebody who probably feels they can't provide for you. But I'll tell you what you can't provide, they can't provide, you can provide and back and forth. This person could have a lot of skills. They could be a hard worker. Okay, and I definitely see this as somebody who looks at the facts. They're very meticulous. So there's skills. This is when it tells me there's two people who are just right. You'll complete each other because what you're not good at, they are and vice versa. So that's what I'm seeing here. Very interesting energy. So I do see a big new beginning. Now, if it is, like I say, if you have someone here who you feel something is off, it's possible. You're right. Trust your intuition. Okay. Ending a cycle, but things are about to go in your favor. So that's why I say playing it safe, being cautious. I feel it's them. <laughs> you know, yourself too. Like I said, first and foremost, this is yourself being cautious. You're only offering one cup. You're not offering any more. So all this is acknowledged, the need to cooperate and compromise. But you either have something new or it's this person finally making a move because you both want it. I see a pause. See temperance. Two people taking a pause. Two people um, very tempted. See a lot, of attempt, a lot of temptation. But I feel it has to do with pulling back and seeing things different. See seeing things different after a period of time that you're actually very much the same. So it's about two people who build each other up and work together. I, I feel this could go somewhere. But yeah, some of you could end a cycle trusting your intuition. Something's just off and you're moving on. But you do have new, something new. So beautiful energy. The Empress, the healing. That beautiful being open, letting somebody know that you're open. See, there's the truth. 
there it is. You got someone dating and courting, and that because I see the the book doing things in a traditional manner. See, this could be somebody who's rushed into a commitment before and it didn't work out. So now maybe they want to do things in a more traditional way. That could be yourself. Someone here has definitely traditional good looks or a very good traditional cook. <laughs> Sometimes that carrot tells me the weirdest things, but often it's the carrot being dangled, the temptation. See, somebody, maybe it's yourself being mysterious. Maybe you gave this person a little gift of something. Okay, the temptation. But it's also an urge of avoiding temptation if you feel it's off. Okay, just playing it safe, I feel. Yeah, most to you. But I see truth, success, and victory. See the acknowledgement, someone's going, aha, you have a lot in common. So there is a lot of compatibility. I feel two people who are very creative. This is two people who could really come together and create anything they want because they're skills. See, but both of you have skills. Perfecting your craft, the skills, you see. So this is a coming together to build. And I see success and victory and some kind of truth. Okay, some kind of truth is going to be revealed. See, their ego, they're focused on money. Mm -hmm. You see it. I feel like you already know. <laughs> see that, you know, that aha moment. This is also a creative idea. This is two people coming up with an idea to create something. This is often just an idea. You know, a creative pursuit, some kind of collaboration between two people. See, collaborating to start something. So the Empress is always open to ideas, okay, to bring in more abundance. But this person is in that energy. See, the abundance, the grapes. Yeah, see, it's a person who's very curious. See, their ego's getting in the way. They're looking for clarity. See, they didn't tell you something. They hid behind a mask. I feel it's just, you know, has to do. There's love. I feel there's love here. I don't think that's the issue. I feel their ego. They don't have much money. They're not quite ready to commit. But I feel they're about to come towards you. They're coming in to speak a truth. See, that's the clarity. This is after they pull back and see things different. They're becoming clear. They choose. They chose their words wisely. See, careful how they communicated. But it's a very curious. And if you are moving on from someone because they're not putting in the effort, you have another opportunity. There's somebody here who's very curious to see if you've started something new as well. So uh, one more card for Leo. Tell me about the new. Things becoming clear. So I see an eight of cups. Beautiful. See, walking away, but it's an energy of two people searching for the same thing. See, but it's a leaving, seeing the truth. Some of you see the truth. You have someone who may be not telling you the whole truth. Be careful of anybody who comes in, okay? Um, if there's somebody here who's married, make sure they are telling you the truth. But I feel there's something to do with love and a bond and their ego getting in the way. It has to do with taking a step. Okay, it's about a step in the right direction, stepping into new. But some of you may be thinking, you know, of walking away here. But to me, with this energy, you might walk away, right? You might and start something new. But what I feel is they're looking for the answers. They're looking for truth. And if you do see the truth, that you feel something is off, trust your inner knowing, your inner wisdom, okay? Okay. Whatever this means to you, because you could walk away and move right towards something new. But I feel it's a person who's searching. Somebody here is searching for something. Yeah, see, it has to do with control. See, somebody here trying to take control of a situation. Some of you could be taking back your power. But I got to tell you, whatever this new is, it could go somewhere. So it's all, I also see with the star, letting go of control. Okay, letting go of control. This has to do with someone who's determined. Now you have somebody here who's coming up with some kind of an idea to date in court. This is somebody, the love coming in, the courting. This person's determined that this is successful. So I feel there's some kind of truth going to be revealed. I, I feel it's this energy right here, the ego. A little, maybe they're just not as confident, too apprehensive. It's long term, or it'll be successful. But I can see them offering you this. I see this person kind of smiling. I feel something is going to make you happy. Yeah, T 
teamwork, cooperation, compromise, compatibility, going down that path, but acknowledging. Here we have Queen of Pentacles, see, grounded, practical, sensible. Some of you are focused on new, maybe even a new job. You may have a lot of things going on. I see multiple opportunities, a busy time. Now, this could come out of the blue when you're focused on things. You may not see this coming, okay? Well, I do see that often. That's usually when you find love, too. You don't really see it coming. You're busy doing other things, focused on your house, your home, your, your money, it's definitely an energy of not being ruled by the emotion. See, offering one cup and nothing more. You're playing it safe. <laughs> but they know it too. <laughs> this is marriage material though, okay? So either you're, this person's coming in because I feel like you both want this. Yeah, we have an emperor coming out there. See, you both want this. They know what they want, but I feel it's the fear of commitment. Yeah, they and it's also I feel an energy where you know they may be a little bit worried. There's been some heartache, absolutely, but they could be a little afraid. You've already started something new, uh, if you have walked away, okay. But I feel this is a walking away energy where this person's seeing maybe why you did, why you're open to other people, but there's pieces missing. See, so I feel this is an energy of this person coming in determined to have success. It's a person exploring their feelings. This someone's just exploring their feelings. You see how they feel. So you have a person who moves a little slow. You're very much the same, but they're a little different that way. It has to do with their temperament, the way they move. So take your time here, okay? I see you being open to opportunities, job situations here as well. I see a busy time. But I see something long-term, long-term planning, a lot of abundance, something that is going to be um, long-term here. So very nice. Marriage material, Queen of Pentacles, Empress, grounding yourself. See, it's like you're focused this way. Maybe there's someone here you don't see a future with, if you have a choice and someone you do. And it very well could be just a decision. It has to do with who you have the most in common with, who's willing to cooperate and compromise. Okay, and acknowledging your skills, the skills you both have, the things that you that complement each other. Okay, so take care. Wish you the best and bye for now.